tried to summon it. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium. You in the next room? <laughs> I've always said that travel broadens the mind. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. 
Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards, and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Oh, good, that did. How am I... This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. <sighs> A pristine night. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little for... Cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Look. Not this close to the school, Emmett. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon.
over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Addy, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story. When I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Wingardium Leviosa! be another way in. That looks as if it might raise the gate. I knew you could do it. I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... 
I hear them. Yeah, restrain the face. Hi, Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Get this thing back to us now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! It. Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get out to the roof. Somewhere. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Revelio. In Guardian Leviosa. Safest place to sneak into. Rally behind strength, and you can't go wrong. It's when minds stand behind whimsy that pass. Alohomora. Oh, I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. in a wooden box! Let me out, go!
thing. It's all right. There we go. Hogwarts Express must be returning from an unscheduled run. How exciting. <laughs> oh, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. 
I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Places. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. What are you up to now? Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Brickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Brickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... ...when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um... He has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, ...I'm afraid to leave... ...in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring... When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. Revelio, we need something more. This must be hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Ach 
Achi? Achi Bikal! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Achi's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Achi by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. Then must find Archie quickly. <laughs> Prepare for a fight. <laughs> Satchel, why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio, Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Halo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think the very death deserves some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Achi. Rebellion. children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have Archie. Be on your guard. There can be no mistakes. Oh. little fella isn't going anywhere. He's deep inside there, all locked up.
got what they deserved. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Avelia. don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. This is to tell us. It's dinner I'm hearing. sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Achi. Sorry. We need to get this open. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. 
Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That is a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... We don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. 
These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. That brazier went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Prepare The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Lumos. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Lumos. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Arnoctor. There's bound to be a match to the symbol. Lumos. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Another gate. 
seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Let's look at the gate and the symbols again. Luma. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Confringo! Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. Spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. Uh, the gate! I think we're locked in. Again! Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton, and Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? You know him better than I do. Very well. Wish me luck. Wish we had some liquid luck. Ominous, I know this is the last thing you want to do. Yes, it is. I thought you knew me better. But this is different. Whoever you cast it upon would have agreed to it first. It wouldn't be an innocent victim. We have to open the door. The spell won't work unless you mean it. That's true of all unforgivables. If it must be done, then one of you must cast it. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. I don't want to learn the curse, but I can handle the pain. It's fine. Cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. Crucio! Are you all right? Are you all right? That pain. It was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. 
We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Revelia. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I've retrieved a stolen helm that he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lodgok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. 
Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Did you hear that? It's absurd, isn't it? Ranrock wants us to find the child, but which child? We could take every child we find to Ranrock. Eventually, we may get the right one. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of work. Perhaps we just tell him we looked. Well, if he asks. It does sound easier. Let's do that. You can't stop Red Rock's Rebellion! Well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'd known your plan was to dig up half the country. I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So... Unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. 
Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Any special word you want me to pass on to your mum? I suppose that's the quick way down. Revelio. Is there something to those symbols on the walls? Revelio. There is. I've seen symbols like these before. I need to find all of them, then pass at them quickly in succession. tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. Revelio. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Revelio. something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, 
a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber. I need to reposition that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer. is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Thank you. 
I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how?
What a relief. I must say, I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in? Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. One piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep this second artifact safe, as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing stand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. 
Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well. And we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame. To let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Very good. It seems you encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. For your sake, it's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. <laughs> you could do better than that. Rebellion. 
Assignment's all finished. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn your... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. A short and simple 